Okay, so now I'm going to go into our data center switching solutions. This is when I say data center switching, and I'm talking about our uh, data center IP uh, and Ethernet product portfolio. And we really do actually have two different platforms or two different kind of approaches to attacking switching in the data center. Uh, we have a differentiated option, which is going to be based on our VDX platform, which I'll talk about in detail in a minute here. But first, I just want to introduce the commoditized option using the ICX platform, the same platform that I covered in a little bit more detail uh, when I went through the campus solutions. So if you remember the ICX 7750, which we positioned for the campus network in the core and aggregation layer, is actually a very great uh, commoditized uh, data center 10 gig top of rack switch. When I say commoditized, I really do mean commoditized. I mean that this platform uses Merchant Silicon. It's a Broadcom Trident 2 uh, ASIC uh, in the switch. This is very uh, the same hardware that's used uh, in many popular uh, Cisco and Arista platforms. And the real play here, if you, if you have a customer who's looking at some of those solutions from another vendor or maybe has them deployed, uh, the, the play here is that it's, it's the same hardware and it's a cost play right we we can, can traditionally come in at 40 percent lower than the uh, uh, other other vendors or the leading vendor uh, and we also offer that hardware warranty and again that look and uh, feel of the CLI is very familiar for customers familiar with uh, Cisco so it's a very simple approach into selling into the data center when you just say hey uh, same solution, a uh, little bit different uh, look, and look to it. It's a different vendor, but same hardware uh, at a much better value. And that has resonated uh, with a lot of customers building out next generation data centers. Quickly mentioning the ICX 7450, if you have a smaller uh, data center environment that still has a lot of one gig connectivity to the server, uh, but there are some 10 gig, uh, limited 10 gig requirements, the 7450 can be a good fit. It can provide that one gig connectivity and also up to 12 ports of 10 gig using the expansion modules. Uh, so that's another option for smaller environments. But I really want to talk about the differentiated uh, option from Brocade for the data center switching layer. And that's with the VDX platform. And to summarize kind of the differentiators for the VDX, we would start by with the Ethernet fabric technology uh, based on Brocade's virtual cluster switching. Uh, net net what the ethernet fabric technology essentially does is it makes the vdx a truly plug and play network infrastructure uh, it does this by uh, leveraging technology that's built within the asic for these switches the vdx switches to automatically discover each other uh, and automatically connect and each switch that you deploy each vdx switch that you deploy in the data center if you just set one uh, parameter cli parameter uh, initially on the switch, it'll join this fabric and automatically start trunking VLANs, uh, automatically can pull down configurations from VMware vCenter, uh, and uh, the any connections in between VDXs, you don't actually have to manually configure. So no port channel configuration, no VLAN tagging. Uh, you only would have to configure the server-facing ports, and you could even get around that if you have a VMware environment by uh, just typing in the URL to vCenter, and it'll go out and discover all the uh, virtual switches and all the virtual machine MAC addresses and automatically apply uh, the configuration that it pulled from vCenter. So that's the Ethernet uh, Fabric Technology Differentiator. Uh, a couple other technical differentiators is that with our VDX platform, you're going to get two times the size of on-chip buffer versus any Broadcom Trident 2 platform. That's 24 megs of buffer on chip, which is important because uh, it'll allow for absorption of bursty traffic patterns, but also not compromise in terms of latency and performance uh, versus other off deep off chip buffer solutions that are out there. Another uh, unique advantage is that across the VDX platform, whether in the spine layer or the leaf layer, we support in-service software upgrades. And like I had mentioned, we do have a nice VMware integration story uh, in, in a few different areas that I'll cover. So Ethernet Fabrics, really quickly, it's just a new approach to uh, data center network architectures. It eliminates the need for spanning tree. It runs Trill, which is actually a layer two technology that employs some of the state, same uh, uh, 
concepts as routing in terms of uh, Trill, with Trill, you build a link state database at layer two, and every node in the fabric, every VDX in the fabric, is aware of uh, how, of, of physically aware of where all the devices that are connected to the fabric live, and uh, also all of the different possible routes or, or paths through the fabric to reach uh, that device. So like OSPF keeps a database of routes to uh, each destination and it only inserts the best route uh, into the routing table. Similarly, Trill at layer two does the same thing. So this is a much more resilient, a much more uh, uh, high performance uh, ethernet fabric versus traditional layer two switching, which is limited by broadcast and spanning tree. Additionally, we, we manage the fabric, which can scale up to 48 uh, VDX nodes can, can be in one fabric. When you connect them into the fabric, you manage all of those VDXs uh, from the same IP uh, address. So it creates a logical chassis when you connect these VDXs, which makes configuration and management of your data center network really at, at very large scale uh, quite simple. So like I said, the, VDI, the VCS fabric will auto configure. You just plug and play. VLANs will trunk across as needed, uh, and uh, any uh, redundant links to the same devices uh, between v, uh, redundant links between VDXs will automatically form uh, what we call uh, brocade lags or port channels. You don't need to configure it at all. It's managed as a single switch, which really makes operations simple because think about configuring or deploying a, a data center network. There's a lot of uh, traditionally a lot of configuration that goes in in terms of creating port channels and VLANs. Uh, with us, it's just simply uh, setting a uh, Arbridge ID and a VCS fabric ID and then plugging the switch in and, and everything else will configure itself. You may need to do some port level configuration so it can talk to the servers, but besides that, uh, there's no configuration required. So we have a nice uh, story of integration with VMware and it's kind of illustrated at a high level in this picture. Uh, we have a plugin into vCenter, which will allow for us to pull down configuration uh, based on the uh, uh, vCenter configuration for those virtual machines. So that includes VLANs, uh, security, QoS, and so forth. That can be automatically pulled from vCenter and, and applied to the VCS fabric. Additionally, if customers are looking at uh, overlay technologies such as VMware NSX, uh, in the future, there's going to be a support for the hardware base VTEP, which will essentially allow uh, you to use the network to bridge uh, your virtual assets that are in VMware, managed within VMware, with physical assets such as storage or uh, network appliances like load balancers or uh, firewalls. You can bridge those into your virtual network infrastructure by using a hardware-based VTEP that resides on the VDX switch. And this is another differentiator with VMware. Uh, that, that Brocade offers. Finally, visibility, if you're looking at deploying NSX, uh, which is an overlay technology, which essentially builds a, a network, virtual networks on top of your physical network, what's really important is in that paradigm is, is visibility uh, and transparency, visibility between the underlay and the overlay. And we accomplish that by offering a, very, a couple plugins with VMware vRealize operations and VMware Log Insight. And this gives you visibility between your virtual network infrastructure and your underlying physical network infrastructure. For example, if you were having issues with a certain application uh, and you want uh, the VMware vRealize operations plugin would allow you to see the state of and the health of the physical network uh, in the same uh, through the same pane of glass that you're managing your virtual network. So products really quickly, there's uh, really two products that are worth really worth knowing. Uh, for the LEAF, we see the VDX6740 uh, family platform used, and in the spine, the VDX6940. Let's take a closer look at these. So with the VDX6740 and 1RU, you have a high density 10 gig platform with 40 gig uh, uh, ports for interconnectivity. We also support flex ports, which can support fiber channel FCOE or native ethernet. Uh, and you see the 40, uh, or the four 40 gig QSFP plus ports that are also there, which you can break out to provide higher 10 gig density, or you can use to interconnect the VDXs uh, and form that fabric. The VDX 6940 uh, 
36Q is a 1RU platform that provides uh, up to 36 ports of 40 gig QSFP+. Plus. This can be broken out to provide up to 144 10 gig uh, ports in 1RU. So this is typically what we'll see in the spine layer of the data center with 6740s at the, at the leaf. Now, the, uh, a really high dense 10 gig, a high density 10 gig platform that we offer is the VDX 6940144S, which is a 2RU platform that can provide uh, up to uh, nine, uh, 10 gig, 40 gig, and even 100 gig in the same platform. So you could get 96 10 gig ports with SFP plus, an additional 12 40 gig QSFP plus ports, or four by 100 gig uh, QSFP plus ports. If you were to use all the uh, port density and even broke out the 40 gig ports into 10 gig, that can also get you up to 144 uh, 10 gig ports. We have a modular offering as well, the VDX 8770, which would uh, uh, allow for hyperscale uh, uh, VDX fabrics. And that covers the data center solutions. Thank you.